Hello John, you're finally here and um, you had a good look with Tom, the uh, maintenance uh, chief of engineering here at RGV at the aircraft. What's your thoughts? What's your first impression of it? Well, it's a very pretty looking aeroplane. It's got a really nice paint job and as I've talked to Tom, I've got the impression that they've been very thorough in their maintenance of the aircraft. And um, having operated a Beach 18 before, there were a lot of little things that Tom didn't necessarily know the answer to immediately. But we're going to go and look in the books and see uh, more about that. But on the whole, it's, it looks like it's in very good condition and good condition for the kind of trip we want to do. Fantastic. Um, well, that's um, a good feedback for now uh, because obviously Phil and I have been quite holding our breaths whether everything <laughs> here was uh, up to spec. And um, uh, so we're really excited. And uh, you brought your wife Anne with you. I will. Yeah, Anne's come with me. She wants to see have her part of the adventure. She's going to go and see some friends when we leave. Um, but uh, she's actually encouraged me to, to do this, to tackle, the, uh, to tackle the flight. That is quite amazing and we're all really looking forward to have you uh, fly back to the beach. We're very, very excited. So right. let's hope everything goes well. And thank you so much for coming over all that way from South Africa. Um, just one more question, is sort of that type of aeroplane, obviously you've flown um, many, many types of beaches and other aeroplanes, um, what's the difficulty of flying a Beach 18? Well, it's the kind of aeroplane that not a lot of pilots are used to flying these days. Um, it's a, a twin engine tail dragger. Um, tail dragger or experienced pilots with tail wheel experience uh, is kind of hard to come by these days and somebody who's got experience working with an old plane like this they becoming more and more difficult to find and um, it's part of the attraction I love flying these old beach these classic aircraft Class classic aircraft are, are uh, something I love doing and uh, I, well, no, not just love doing I love flying classic old classic aircraft and uh, it was one of those spur of the moment adventure things that I decided to do. Along the way I've wondered what I've got myself into but uh, <laughs> we'll find so out difficult. as we go along. That's true. And um, you have done a cross-Atlantic crossing once before haven't you? Yeah but that was in a completely different aeroplane. It was a, a turbine, a single engine non-pressurized turbine, a Kodiak and I flew, flew a more southerly route across the Atlantic and it was actually completely uneventful um, which is actually what we want for this trip. Sure. Uneventful. Where is a southerly Atlantic route? Well from, uh, we started in Bangor, Maine, routed up to St. John's, Newfoundland. From there to uh, Santa Maria in the Azores and then a short hop across to Las Palmas in the Canary Islands. And then the longest leg was from uh, the Canary Islands uh, right across the bulge of Africa to Accra and Ghana and then across the ocean, not too long, four and a half hours to Libreville and Gabon and then to uh, northern part of Namibia and then South Africa, so seven days. Fantastic, and only seven days, wow, that yep. sounds amazing. Well, luckily we've planned ten days now for this trip, <laughs> which allows for a little bit of weather problems and uh, other potential difficulties along the route. But, um, yeah, it should be a little bit more relaxed with a lot shorter legs. Hope so. And what do you, what do you think about this balloon that's supposed to go in this aeroplane? Have you ever done this before? No, that's a completely new thing for me. But I've got no problem with it, provided that we've got all the I's dotted and the T's crossed. It's not a problem. Great. Well, we we'll look forward to uh, flying her. Obviously, tomorrow you'll be joined by Tindera, another very experienced beach pilot. That should be interesting to yeah. see how you two. Uh, by the beach around here and then hopefully uh, one more test flying on Sunday before we bring her down to Bristol and depart yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah, and let's hope this wonderful weather holds. Absolutely. Well, it looks better than it's ever done here in the UK. Yeah, okay. So keep fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you very much, John. Thank you for your okay, time. Okay, all right. Lovely to see you.